LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend. Hello, guys. I'm Warner Rosa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is what Wednesday today. This is November 1st, so it's the day after Halloween. Um, I am leaving work at like 9 30 a.m. I'm leaving the first part of my work day, which is uh, where we shoot the television show, where we shoot TMZ. Um, and I get up and I'm on my way here looking tired and ugly at like uh, five. Like, I have to leave my house no later than 5 30 a.m. So I was going to record like getting up and all that, but like I'm always rushing or whatever. Hold on, I gotta put the tickets in. But yeah, I'm always rushing or whatever um, to make it to work on time. So I was like, I don't have time to do a video and I look crazy anyway. Um, but now I am, so the second half of my day, because I'm also a tour guide too, the second part of my day normally consists of me heading to Hollywood um from our newsroom like the studio where we shoot and conducting tours the tours that they do throughout hollywood today oh sorry guys today um i had two tours but i believe the second one is not going to happen when the tours are really really low they like cancel them because they well you can't run a tour for people with no people on it that's the first thing like when there's nobody on the tours they cancel them and when they cancel them when they cancel the tours we um we don't have to come to work but you still get like paid for the tours and stuff like that um depending on the day i like it when the tours are not canceled because i like to get my tips like that's the only thing is like we don't get tips when the tours are canceled but sometimes you've done so many of the tours throughout the week that you just really need a break like you can burn yourself out very quickly um we're doing something that's so repetitive so it's always good to have a break or whatever let me just hold this but yeah but it's work and you kind of know what you signed up for so i'm about to head to hollywood um and get these tours popping there's always traffic i'm about to take the 405 y'all Living in LA, try to avoid the 405 highway as much as you can because there's traffic. I'm gonna show y'all what this traffic be like. If you have never seen LA traffic before, welcome. Traffic is like this on every highway, like all the fucking time. Like all the time, but the 405 I feel like is so bad like all the time and, but it's only up until a certain point and then it, it's not as bad I'm up i'm ready i laid my edges down <laughs> um got my tmz shirt on so i'm heading into the uh hard rock cafe right now which is where the tours leave from to do my tour just to fully like up and running it so we still do our tour out of the hard rock where I'm heading into Happy, can you unmute me? Are y'all? Oh, I thought the mic was on. That's what happens when the mic is not on. I literally thought the mic, I just turned the mic on. Okay. So, this is the time that I do like my sound check. Check, 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 like all the technical stuff. Happy is my driver today. Oh, Say hi. hey, happy. Hi, happy. But yeah, so we check everything. Um, I have to make sure all these are down and that everything is geared up. Um, so it's kind of like a technical run through. That's how I like to think of it. I make myself feel like this is an actual show. So it is um, always interesting every time I do it. So I'm not ever tired of it. Um, no, I'm not live. I'm, I'm making a vlog. Well, fix your button, sis, because I'm recording. Okay? So I'm recording. We are about to play Drunk Uno. These are the rules. These are the rules for uh, Drunk Uno. So, if you draw two, you gotta take a shot. If you draw four, you gotta take two shots. If you, so the person who gets skipped has to take a shot. The person who gets reversed has to take one and a half shots. If you call false, you know it's one shot. Um, oh, you gotta tell them about this one right here. You coming at two in the morning? Yeah, I'm about to unfollow you. We just don't need a relationship at this point. Like the only time I see you on Instagram. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop playing. You gotta be strategic. You have to play. You cannot just. You really do have to play six. What's it called? That you could put a nine and then a reverse and. Could reverse back to me, then I could put another number down. Right. Right. You said numbers and colors. No. You gotta put down a a red nine or yeah. Why would you say the red? That's not colors. Well, we didn't mean what y'all talking about. So you just mean nobody ever played sex with numbers and colors. You can't just put everything down. I'm actually I didn't sign any type of um consent release, release forms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's no sign on the door saying filming in process. Okay, so let's do this. Can I get yes. on top of six clothes? Wow. Wow. You better get five. Six. Six. Because of this ball. Can I please have the Hennessy bottle? You called Uno for him. Tyro. Mariah brought me more Hennessy because I got the uh, job today. Isn't that nice? That's a good friend. Lessons on blessings. Shot number one. Lessons on lessons on lessons on lessons on lessons. What's the job? Shot number two. Go ahead, finish your shot first. Shots. You know everybody's stripper now. Trace. It's on me now. Oh my god. Where's the mall, guys? Put your shades on. Put your shades on. So guys, we're in the mall. Look who's in LA. Hi! <laughs> Um, we're in a makeup store right now. I'm not really doing shit at all. Patience is trying to find some foundation. I haven't really been doing stuff, y'all, but working. I'm like so over that. Um, Patience here, so I stopped by to see her. As y'all even see, my makeup isn't even really done. I like curl my hair, but it's like oily. So I need to figure this out. But, um, go on and grab some drinks and stuff. Okay, honey. This bitch about to go out to a big oh, <laughs> looking homeless. You said what? Then I'm in here looking homeless and stressed. <laughs> All right. Are you about to head down there now, or are you going to no, that room first? Right okay. okay. Oh yeah, it's cute. Mhm. You gonna get a note with those glasses though. Once you get inside. So guys, oh, there's no mirror in here to talk to. So guys, I'm about to um go home and I might be coming back out later. I'm not for sure. If I am, you guys will see that. If I'm not, I'm gonna end this vlog right here. Hey guys, I just wanna have a little car chat with y'all. I'm almost home right now from um, hanging out. That's better. From hanging out with patients today and then like i had to take the show this morning and patients i don't know if you guys remember her i don't know if she, she was ever because i wasn't even really focused on vlogging then it was more about like the interviews and stuff on my channel um but patients is from delaware like when i used to like not live here in la but like be back and forth i know some of you guys have been following my channel for a long time so you probably remember like when i was like actually living in delaware and just like traveling to la every like grammy weekend bt weekend just to get interviews just because i wanted to like just be in that like celebrity host space and i didn't have like a legit job that was keeping me doing that so i kept myself doing it um patience uh was like trying to like just build her contacts as a um publicist at the time so um being that we're both from delaware like we just decided that like you know anytime i came to la or like if she was going somewhere atlanta wherever we was gonna link up and like do it that way so like we go to the events together meet people blah blah, blah. so long story short patients started working with cardi b um and this was when cardi b was like really big on instagram still but like before love and hip-hop all that stuff and started doing publicity with her and basically kind of doing a little bit of everything like helping her like with her style and her hair and like you know because like when you're up like it's like a small business like if you're a small business owner you know sometimes you gotta play freaking electrician when you don't even know how to so she was just doing a little bit of everything to like get them moving the way they needed to be and now you guys know cardi b is huge or whatever so they're in town um for work for a couple days so um me and Patience just hung out today, and it's always good to just, like, talk to people who kind of understand, like, the growth in, like, the industry, the growth that is still to come. It's, like, like, it's kind of really good. Cause, okay, so, for instance, a lot of people right now feel like, oh, you're working with TMZ, like, you know, you live in L.A., 
that's it like you're good and I'm just like nope not where I want to be like uh, just took like maybe one big step I got at least a hundred more um, but somebody like patients who understands like where I was and where I am now and just like from conversations where I want to be and like you know she has her own career that she has going on and stuff like the conversation is always different when I like can talk to people like that like and so it's a refresher because lately I've been really feeling like I'm like in a corner like I have my job and all that stuff but like I want to see progression progression and I want to see a transition but I don't I know what I want it to look like and I know what it is like I know what I want next but I, there's no ABC to like the job that I'm doing there's no submit an application real quick like you know it's a lot of like who you know and even with that like I feel like I'm meeting everybody like my network is like like it's never been before to be honest like some of the people that like I'm able to like just pick up the phone even if I have a question and talk to nowadays are people that like me and patients was just talking about that like like these are people that literally we would have died to been able to be able to just hold a conversation with her just get a call back from our text back from like a couple years ago when we were first starting so i understand that and i'm gonna keep going with that but it's just like the waiting game is such a killer and i feel like i just need that one like this this right here it like knocked on the door for me and it let people know i was knocking but like my next thing like my next job that i book i wanted to be that like bussing down the door gig like Y'all know what I'm saying? Like that, that oomph, like that really big, huge push that I need. So, because I know I want that and like, you know, I'm very much so like, I don't like sitting still in something. Like, I don't like being comfortable at all. Like, I always want to be like growing, growing, evolving, evolving and stuff like that. And because I am like that, um, you know, like the way that I'm feeling right now, as far as like me feeling like I'm like kind of back into a corner a little bit. Hold on, I'm pulling into my garage. Um, it's just been really having my mind like all over the place. And I'm the type of person that like first of all I overthink and I overanalyze. But I was just telling patients, like, I maybe I need like a break to like not think, not analyze, come back here, start fresh, like with like planning and strategizing because it's a lot of that because it really is like a waiting game it's like you gotta wait you gotta work you gotta pray you gotta give god something to work with so that's just lately how i've been feeling like okay like i know i'm doing good but like things could be better and i want to just know like what do i need to do to make them better like oh i'm just ready like oh i feel like it's right here like i feel like my next big thing is like right here and i can like grab it but like i can't grab it so yeah it was good to like just um see patients and they'll be working this week so i don't really know how much more i'll get to see her because as y'all can imagine like her schedule is crazy a lot of the time when she comes into town um but yeah it was good to see her we just like went to the mall and like got some food or whatever um and then i might go back out with them later tonight depending on how things are looking but i mean either way i'm chilling because like, if I can't go, it's fine. Because I have to be up and on my way to work at six at 5.30 a.m. To tape at 6.30 a.m. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm home. I know I said I was ending the vlog in the last video when I was at the hotel. But, like, I'm really ending the vlog now. I'm about to go home, go in the house, edit this vlog, put it up. The vendor, the pop-up shop is happening in Wilmington, Delaware on Black Friday. So, you guys know I have a lot to do with that. Like, I was supposed to be sending out emails. A long time ago like this morning but i linked up with patients um so yeah have y'all ever felt like how i felt like you're not ungrateful but you're just you know you're comfortable and you want to shake things up a little bit and you need that next step but it's like the next step is like floating on like a a little like floaty thing in the water and you gotta jump to the floaty thing and you don't know if you jump to that floaty thing if you gonna land where you're supposed to land or not so it's like what do i do what do i do if you guys have ever felt like that, drop your comments below. Share your stories with me. Like, I don't know, y'all. I'm just all over the place right now. You should move to LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend. You should move to LA with your best friend.